Oh, so happy for you guys to be joining me in my journey to the thrift store right now. The freeway was not that bad. Very happy about that. Oh, man, I got the green, I got the green. That's what's up, you know, just starting the day off, right? So before we get into this spot, I gotta remind everybody out there, if you want my channel to grow, please do hit that like button. And if you aren't sub, please do hit the subscribe button. And if you wanna see when I upload, hit that notification bell like always. Let's hit it up. I see some stuff in there. Check it out, we got authentic Defend Paris uh, hoodie over here. Yeah. The one is Polo beanie, 99 cents. This is why I like coming at this place is they do get these crazy tees. Look at this vintage one, Camp Beverly Hills. We're not too far. Check it out. Look the uh, the color around this. Look at that. I love the price. Look at that neckline though, it's like a ribbon neck. And check it out right next to it, the Pad USA. Okay, but check out the tag. You got Supreme, you got Supreme over here. Uh, size medium, the watermark is there, so this was probably a blank they used. So it's got that Supreme quality. We all love it. Look how happy they are. That, the women's section coming through with the vintage pieces. Check out this one. This one's off for Morro Bay, California. You know, I went there. I saw the big rock. Instead of the big rock, they put the, uh, I don't even know what these are. Some flowers. But it is a single stitch. And you gotta respect it. Just straight in the bags, and all I'm seeing is some hats in reality. I don't see too much, but they do have a uh, cold steel. Uh, hat, it's pretty cool. And I believe they have a Vespa one. Got a shout out, Sean Witherspoon in that one. So I picked up what I could. A little decent, ready to find more. Let's go. Oh yeah, we're here at the spot and check it out. I'm already coming up on something. We got the uh, Grizzly Grip Tape. If you guys know the skate brand, these are actually samples. It's cool coming up on samples. This one's cool, man. The corduroy. Beware the bear. You know what's up. These are cool. I might be picking up this one for $2.99. That is super sick. It's even got that little netting in there. Goody card is coming out. I'm excited. Find some gems out here. Like always. Get the M with the music, you know what's up. I got they do got the C16 hat LA, another hat. This was actually a TV show that had to do with a branch of the FBI. Uh, it was one season from 1997, 1998. And it's got that green brim, 299. I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up though. It is a pretty sick hat though. And check this out. Okay, this one's gonna be a major cop, even for the price. It is so sick. The netting on here. Got a scoop. Gotta love the feeling, right? Acne jeans for the low. How much, how much, how much? Almost seven bucks. 52, man, love the striping. This thing is so sexy. Whew, another come up, okay? Acne jeans, if you guys know. Check out the older tag too, I just wanna just want to see that. I think I'm made in Turkey. This reminds me of my guest stripes. Yeah. Check out this, man. You guys realize it is Halloween season, pretty much, for Goodwill. And look what they got. Oh, 
it's like all bent up the 2015 let's see come on that master sword looking sweet man <laughs> look at that So let's take this little lull. I'll tell you guys what I got on feet. So I got the uh, Forrest Gumps. Okay. I love the tag on these. And there's like just nothing in the shoes. And so I'm feeling antsy. I'm feeling antsy. Oh, this one's crazy. Looking like Hermes over here with a white KK zipper. See, made in Korea, it's a vintage. Let's see if it's got, yeah, so sick. It's a bigger size, too. And guess what? No shoulder pads. <laughs> the only thing with these, man, find them in their women's. This one's a men's. So, I'm taking off from there, you guys. That was crazy scooping up. Okay, scooping up not only the, the acne jeans immediately, but the Patagonia hat, and then the Hermes look-alike. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, the thirst coming through. Let's go. So, at the new spot, okay, I'm laughing because some crazy stuff just happened. Um, you got the Sun of Mars. Okay, you're familiar. 7Y for 12 bucks, not bad, but it's probably not gonna be a scoop. But it's got those lace locks. So sorry, it's okay. It's good. I don't know hey, your vlog. <laughs> That's how it is here, man. Brother to love, like always. But yes, like I said, those lace locks. Look at that. Searching in the uh, bags, I did come up on the uh, Chivanche. The Chivanche perfumes bag. But this one's just got no sand, if you know what I mean. It's not got no grit. It's just whatever. They want eight bucks. Uh uh. Uh uh. Is that a real boom boomerang? No, oh, that's a real one. Woo! Okay, it is starting to get hot. Um, I did pick up uh, those Carrera Vintage 80s Porsche Design sunglasses. A uh, little steep, man, 20 bucks. But the amount of money that it goes for is pretty cool. That's the thing, I love sunglasses. I haven't came up in a while, so big breath of fresh air. Check it out, resizing did a lot. Now I'm rocking the 80s style. What that means, take it off. And look at that, they do got the uh, Puma X Kuji uh, for the win over here. Last spot, it's not that bad. Bringing, a, bringing it back to like B.I.G. over here. Yams. Yeah. I think they want like three bucks, so. Hey, boss, hey what is that? What? It just fell out of the pants. Yikes. <laughs> just one. I don't want to know. <laughs> okay. That's what that guy kicked, man. It came out of the pants, so I don't get it. It's gonna be a scoop. So I gotta thank the people at Heaven Sent hooking me up with the 1980 uh, Pac-Man lunchbox, another collectible. Just look at that, farm fresh and dirty, like I like it, you know what I'm talking about. Thank you again, taking off.
So let's get in the recap straight off with this piece. So I did pick up the polo piece for 99 cents and yes, that embroidered rider. If you guys know about the beanie season, summer is ending, winter is coming. And remember, like I always say, low for the low. Now to that another piece of headwear that I did find. This one was a little bit pricey, $7.99, but I had to pick it up, man. I had a scoop. It is the Patagonia full mesh five panel. The last mesh five panel I did find was actually a vintage North Face one. And I don't have it anymore in the collection. It was brand new with tags for like $5.99. The Thurf Gods were looking out for me that day. I love the fact that it's got Patagonia right in the front in 3M. And it's just, like I said, it is super clean, super comfy. For now, this one's going in the stash. Thank you for looking. T-shirts, I did pick this one for $1.99. I like the price, but check it out. I just say Camp Beverly Hills. Like I said, we're not too far. It is pretty sick, like I said. So it does have that floral colorway. Other than that, there is no sizing on the tag, except it kind of looks like a men's size large. Like I said, love the vintage piece. Not so that the only other t-shirt that I did get is the Puma X Kuji Australia. Check that one out. So I did pick it up for $2.49. Again, I had a scoop. Now, so that for $6.99, the only sweater that I did pick up was this Defend Paris hoodie. If you want to legit check it really fast, I mean, the tag will tell you a lot, as well as that the aglets on there. If you guys know the ends of the laces, a lot of people don't know the name. It's an aglet, metal, and as well as that the double Defend on the lace holes, the metal lace holes right there. Super clean for $6.99. Had a scoop. Remember, if you guys are going to want it, Depop. Link down below. Now to that in that vintage silk-like jacket that I did find by Mighty, made in Korea. Again, these vintage jackets I do come up on every once in a while, very Versace-esque. This one actually comes off as an Hermes piece. Here's, you can see the horse in the carriage. You know, it gives it really that vibes of Hermes. But the one thing that was uh, truly amazing for me was no shoulder pads. A lot of these pieces, no matter what, you can remove them. Sometimes you can't. Another $7, vintage the max. I did pick up the acne jeans button up, fully striped. I love it. Like I said, it actually reminds me of my guest stripes. So I was very hyped up on this piece finding it because it is super clean. No stains, no tears, no seam ripping. That's how I like. It is a size 52, a bigger piece because a lot of these older vintage high-end pieces pieces are always a lot smaller so I was very happy not so that I did pick up the 1980 Bally Midway licensed Pac-Man lunchbox it's actually got one graphic on one side and another graphic on the other just super sick and they really hooked it up for me again thank you guys 10 bucks the only thing it is missing is actually the thermos on the inside but I do like the way that they have that spot in there uh, I'm gonna be on the lookout for it like I said I did my best to clean it up um, not too major because I want to keep it the way it is. I love the way it was farm fresh when I found it. And what has me surprised is just finding this piece, let alone being in the condition it's in. Um, and I love the fact that it actually says Jim T on it. Again, remember this was somebody's lunchbox probably growing up. 1980, you know, where are they now? I have no idea. For now, this one's just going in the stash. Love it. Now, last but not least, let's check these out. Woo! So these are actually the Carrera Porsche design 5623 sunglasses, just crazy. The comps go insane. Remember, they go for astronomical prices. A lot of these vintage glasses do, around 200 and up. The condition of these are pretty decent considering there's not that many scratches on the lenses, and that's what I like to look for. My whole collection of sunglasses are actually consisted of a lot of thrifted sunglasses, and that's why coming up on these are just a no-brainer to pick it up. Even though the $20 price tag, the comps go crazy, and I like the way these look. Win one for Carrera. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video and thought it was awesome, please do drop the like. And with that, I'm just going to say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.